Welcome to EF Pod English. Brought to you by EF Education First and English Town. Learn anytime, anywhere. Pod English Intermediate 57 Scuba Diving. Today we'll look at some useful idioms that are related to sports and activities, but you can also use them in everyday life. We'll learn what these idioms mean, to have a go at something. Did you catch my drift? And oh dear, I'm in deep water. More on idioms later. Now it's time for the movie. Will wants to try a new sport. Hey Will, are you coming or going? Oh, I'm on my way out, just checking out this schedule. Did you find anything interesting? Yeah, actually. I was looking at some of the courses you're offering outside of the gym. I'm getting tired of the routine and repetition here. Hmm. We've had several requests from members asking for something more exciting and challenging. Did you read about the scuba diving classes and the rock climbing? I haven't come to that bit. What did you say? Rock climbing and cuba diving? Scuba diving. Scuba stands for self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. Did you catch my drift? Is that when you take a boat out into the ocean with all that gear on and dive to the bottom? Yep, you've got it. Um, mask, fins, wetsuit, regulator and a tank. It sounds really difficult and dangerous. Anyway, where can you do that near the gym? Oh, we use an aquarium close by. We do all the confined dives there. Then, when you feel more confident and ready, we take a special trip to the ocean or a lake. I'm sure you'll love it. <sighs> I'm not too sure about it. I was thinking about taking up rock climbing. I love the mountains. Well, when you've made a decision, sign up right over there. <laughs> Great. Thanks for your help. So do you know what the word scuba stands for? Let's listen to Laura again to find out for sure. Scuba stands for self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. Did you catch my drift? Ah. Self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. I knew it was something like that. But did you hear what else Laura said? Did you catch my drift? This idiom means the same as Did you catch my meaning? Or Did you understand? To drift is to be moved by water. Let's look at some more water-related idioms. I'm treading water. This means I'm not making any progress. I'm out of my depth. This is the same as, this is too hard. Let's test the water. This means let's try something or let's experiment. You see, even if you're talking about water, what you really mean is something quite different. Let's look at another useful idiom from the movie. I was thinking about taking up rock climbing. I love the mountains. I was thinking of having a go at rock climbing. To have a go at something is to try it. We especially use have a go when we haven't tried something before, like an unusual sport. I'm scared of heights, but I think I'll have a go at parachuting anyway. Or, if you want to persuade someone to try something, you could say, why don't you have a go? I can't. Now it's your turn. Can you think of another idiom you learnt today, which means, this is too difficult. I need help. Excellent. The idiom is, I'm out of my depth. Can you think of an idiom which means, did you catch my meaning?
Great! Did you catch my drift? Now try this. See if you can fill in the gap. Great! Let's test the water. Can you think of a phrase which would fit in well here? That's right. I'm not very sporty. But I think I'll have a go at playing tennis. Well done! Wow! You've done a great job at learning some new idioms. You've learnt how to say, Did you catch my drift? We've also learnt some other water-related idioms like, I'm out of my depth. And I'm treading water. We've learnt how to say, to have a go at something. Why don't you have a go at rock climbing? Well, there are many more idioms to learn. Be sure to come back for more. See you next time.